Well, odds are you don't use the word Ubuntu very often or maybe not at all. It's a type of operating system for your computer similar to Windows. But it is not Windows, and what works on Windows doesn't always work on Ubuntu. And that's where 27 troubleshooter Dan Pesuto steps in. He took the case of a young woman who just wanted to take some online classes at MATC. I'm so glad we could help this woman because she called us specifically because she wanted to be able to go take those courses at MATC, and she bought a new laptop to be able to do that. That's when she called me. She thought her laptop was coming with Windows. Instead, she got that thing called Ubuntu. Pronunciation was the least of her problems. It has just been a mess, and um, I regret ordering the computer. Abby Schubert's life was supposed to start getting easier with this new Dell laptop. But let's be clear, it's not. The main purpose I bought the computer was to go back to school. She wanted to enroll in online classes at MATC. That's on hold, and she blames Dell. She bought the $1,100 laptop online, thinking she was getting your standard bread and butter machine. It defaulted to the Ubuntu operating system. The next day, she realized what happened and tried to change back to Windows. The um, person I was talking to told me everything that Ubuntu would, you know, it was great, and college students loved it, and it was compatible with everything that I needed. So she took Dell's advice and stuck with it. She quickly learned Ubuntu might look a lot like Windows, but it sure doesn't act like it. I tried to um, get on the internet on it, and that did not work. And I found out that Microsoft Word is not compatible. That's because her Verizon Internet CD won't load on Ubuntu, and Ubuntu comes with OpenOffice and not Word. By the time she found all this out, Dell said it was too late to go back to Windows. And this semester? It's too late to go back to MATC. Extremely frustrated. I am just, I'm sick of it. And I wanted to get back to school, but I need a computer to be able to do that. Well, that was, of course, before she called 27 News and we were able to help her. We're still waiting to hear from Dell to what they had to say about this, but we are going to be able to help Abby get back to school. I called MATC this afternoon. They said no problem. She can enroll in any of their classes with what she's already got installed on her machine. Then I called Verizon about that CD that wasn't working, and they said the CD might not work, but they will still be able to get a tech support crew to her house so she can start using the Internet with her current machine, Ubuntu. Pronunciation, she might have to work on that a little bit, but at least she can get back to school and start doing what she wants to do. What a huge hassle. Yeah. Nice you could help her. Thanks, Dan.